Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Maker Madness, and today we have uh, the eighth robot master from Mega Man Apple, Drot Man. Who apparently gives us the flame sword. Well, I had to justify having two fire weapons in there somehow. Also, apparently I slow down time in this stage, because we don't normally have time slow. <laughs> Alright. Three! I don't know what the three years. Oh, that's a spike. I was not at all paying attention. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful this time. I don't know if the spike is only there or if it indicates spikes falling, uh, contri yeah, continuing underneath. I need to be cautious and assume that if I see uh, one spike, it's hiding others. Case there because that's quite high up enough that I wouldn't expect it to be high enough. Oh boy. Okay, well, we've got the grasshoppers. Except in this case, they're not hopping on grass, they're hopping on spikes. So that make them spike hoppers then. Close enough for me. Over here. That was robbed. That was... There was very specifically supposed to be something over there just because I thought of it. This room again? Fairly sure we just had this room. Also, fairly sure I did not like it. Fortunately, I have Dive Missile this time, so it's actually significantly easier. Alright. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a second, am I going to be facing Magma Beams? But I can't be facing Magma Beams. There's way too many of those for them to, for that to be even remotely possible. Go. What is this? Oh, okay, this, this, this fire wave just kind of comes occasionally. That was super well conveyed, I would say. I'm gonna have to wait. Ah. <laughs> the timing just did not work out there. This is easy enough once you figure out what's going on. Alright, 
And so this is just kind of a occasional fire ripper. Which means I've got to go back and forth and try to figure out uh, proper timing for everything. That was not the proper timing for just about anything. Oh, ah, too late. I thought about going back, but I thought maybe I could make it. Survive. And it's a whole lot more waiting. And then we have uh, this is a familiar setup, except Slightly different, but only slightly. Like, I think Apple might have just been running a little low on ideas at this point. See, that, this is the second time we've had a room that is basically a copy of the one in the previous stage. Will I make it? Yes, I will! Yeesh. Ah! Oh boy. Look, well, this is unique. I will give it that. One cannot say that this uh, series has been lacking in unique setups. But some of them are a little bit on the painful side. I don't have any e-tanks. I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a little bit of hydro health here. Just for the sake of speed. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this is a problem spot. Oh, crying out loud. I have to do it with all the fire going around. God dang it! I cannot, I can't do the slide jump thing on Q. I have tried multiple times, it just does not work. Okay, I got lucky that time. I didn't bonk my head. That's basically what it amounts to is, am I lucky enough that I don't bonk my head? There's a key down there. I need to get. Oops, there is. Ah. <coughs> the 
Please tell me there's a checkpoint. Yes, thank goodness. Goodness. Alright. Um. I forgot to get uh, time slow. I could be in uh, a little bit of trouble here. Oh! Freaking hell. No, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's me all over. Okay, so I'm ready for it this time, at least, but I still don't have time slow, so I basically have to hope that I do everything correctly. Don't super appreciate how I also am told, hey, you're not allowed to go too far ahead, either. I'm trapped on both sides. Oh no, I thought that I would make it! Ugh, I was right there, too. You can see the little glowing weapon icon. Really? Taking away time slow anyway, so it wasn't like I was keeping it for good, but. Man! We got a double boss here. Well, that takes care of uh, all of my. Uh, Tornado blow. Fortunately, I still have Water Wave. Two fire weapons, two anti-fire weapons. I guess there's some balance. <laughs> Oof. Uh, again, there is some... This, this stage and the series really has had an abundance of creative setups, but some of them have also been kind of a little bit of a drag to kind of take on. Um, the, uh, the whole, uh, the whole big rising, uh, fire section, uh, like, I want to like it. I want it to be, uh, a thing that I'm really super into, but there's just so much risk of losing all of your progress with just one bad jump and then just getting chained back all the way down the bottom. There really needed to be some uh, safety platforms there. And yeah, I think I just, I'm just, just, just short of giving it a thumbs up. Like, it's not a terrible stage. I'm not giving it a thumbs down by any means, but... Uh, it's, it's a tough... It's a touch rough. It's another one of those where I'm really on the borderline, but this time I think I'm just not quite there. Still very interesting. Very creative. That's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. 
I'll see you later.